Good morning, ALS. Are you here to take over your shift? I am. All right, there we go. Keep that there. Okay. Man, I burnt my finger this morning making coffee. <laughs> so it's such an annoying injury. My goat is back. Herd of goats. Weekend was good. I was productive. Posture. I actually have really good posture right now because I've got uh, like a little thing for my feet to go on under my desk so like I can press my feet against the, I don't know what to call it, and I got a heating pad on my back right now. It's life. But I was super productive this weekend. I got a bunch of stuff done with finances and planning and uh, changed the oil in both cars. It's a pretty productive uh, weekend, you know? Real adult shit? Yeah, something like that. I wish I would have learned, I only learned how to change my own oil like, I don't know, a year or two years ago probably. And like, I, every time I do it, I just feel like such an idiot for all the years that I paid out the ass for expensive garages or dealerships to switch my oil when like a 10 year old could do it. It's so easy. I did the usual Welsh person thing. I went out drinking both Saturday and Sunday. Classic. I'm going to run ads quick. All right, we are updated. Let's do a Mason tools install or update. And we'll do a TS update. Loki still re reeling from the Checo announcement. The Checo announcement that they're keeping him.
Yeah, I don't I don't know why they're keeping him. It it quite frankly doesn't make sense to me, but I feel like they have nothing to lose at all by trying another person in that seat because they can always go back and they've been so much more cutthroat in the past. And like they're they're going to lose the constructors. Like it's crazy. I don't know what's going on inside the organization. Yeah, exactly. Red Bull has serious internal issues right now. It's because our food is so horrible. Just bland meat and potatoes with no seasoning. It sounds very Welsh and... Welcome, Raiders. Thank you for the raid. Mr. Devdad, how are we? Camel. I speak the gospel of the dunes. The sand is in my veins. I'll uh, I'll read it then. With me today. Hell yeah, dude! They came out so good too. Let me see if I can pull up all of them here before we jump in. Yeah, I have thirty of them right here. They're so good. Oh, that's not how that works. Apparently. Can I just cycle through these? I can. Okay. So I can bring this over and I can minimize that. Yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, I got engaged last weekend and we got the pictures back. They're so good. I love that one. This one and that one are definitely my favorite. I love those. She had no idea, dude. She had no idea she was going to turn around. <laughs> it's so good. They're so good. Thank you, y'all. All right, so what were we doing last week? Justine 100% was like, fucking finally. That's 100% true. I have to screenshot that. That's so funny. That's so funny. She's going to die from that. Okay, so let's see here. Cargo build. I want to install Cargo Watch. Let's make sure we're building. We're not building. That's awesome. Uh, but let's cargo add Cargo Watch. We are building a little pub sub not pub sub server we're building a little uh like uh job processing server i have like a little job queue in postgres that i pop jobs onto which i'll show you what that looks like in a second and i'm just building this little rust server to learn a little bit of rust and basically there's two different types of jobs right now there is a uh send verification email and then the process world. a excel file upload we're gonna to try to get through sending the email today, but we'll see if we get there. All right, so we have our main, that looks good. I wanna run cargo watch. How does that work? I installed cargo watch. Speaks the gospel of the camel. We got a high train? I speak the gospel of the dunes. Thank you so much. The sand is in my Thank veins. Thank you, Wrapped. Super appreciate Come you. Come ride a camel with me today. 
And you better. I missed you. Thank you for the Prime subscription earlier. I got distracted by the raid. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. That's the wrong project. So we're going to fix that. Um, what is it? Command update the project. Of the camel. I speak the Thank you for of the, the Prime dunes. subscription, Jez. Super the appreciate sand is you. In my veins. Hey, project revamp. Come ride a project. camel with me today. It's spelled. TypeScript and Rust. All right. So let's go look at. We have this prelude. Okay, that looks normal. We have this error thing. Just reacquainting myself with what we were working on. Oh, yeah. Uh, cargo, is it just cargo watch? I definitely just installed cargo watch, right? Should I just be able to run it? Mm -hmm. I do duo camel. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I probably should use, uh, today. We'll just do that and set that to uh, project. You can't prove I don't have blue hair under this hat, Ethan. I'll just copy that. If you want it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, damn it, that didn't work. I got it the wrong way. All right, so, um, Arised. Uh, we're working on a little bit of a freelance project that's building a platform for a financial advisor to coach other younger financial advisors. Part of that's building a little job queue server to manage work asynchronously. So that's uh, what we're working on. If I could get this stupid Twitch thing to work. There we go. Okay, that's good enough for me. All right, I need to figure out how the hell to install Cargo Watch. I think this is probably something with Nick's screwing up my job or my path. So let's check that out quick. Um, Cargo Watch. So now I should be, okay, it's just like this. No such command. Oh, because it, right, it's got to be on my path. I wonder if I can add it um, with Nix. Yeah, I can. All right, so I should be able to come down here and actually do a little Nix shell action right here and just do uh, boom. Okay. I can't tell where like I'm centered here. I feel like this is a struggle every morning when I sit down at my desk, it's getting centered with my keyboard and everything. All right, so we have uh, this job queue we were working on. I think I can give this a box, can I? Can I put this in a box? Is that all I have to do? Missing lifetime specifier. Oh, does, does my actual job take a lifetime? It does, because we have this string.
a little stir here. How are you running? Uh, I am probably just gonna run this in Docker on um, Fly.io. Yep, yep, exactly, Daily Code. Uh, my keyboard is a Voyager. All right, let's see if we can do Cargo Watch now. Maybe? Okay, we can, great. <laughs> All right, so this takes a lifetime. That's okay, we can give that a lifetime, no big deal. So we'll add a lifetime to the queue and we'll give it a lifetime A and we'll give this the same lifetime. <laughs> This is actually, we'll come over here and we'll say a little tick A action. Did I miss a, oh, here it is. Nice, okay, there we go. I'm kind of not convinced that this, let's think about this. Do our jobs and locked jobs, does that structure even make sense? Uh, techno reason, just like wrestling instead of going for the back end. Uh, I wanted to learn rest. I like, uh, I've written a lot of OCaml and uh, a lot of the features people love in Rust were inspired from OCaml. In fact, Rust's original compiler before it was um, self-hosting was written in OCaml. So I just wanted to take some time to uh, play around and learn Rust. And this was a good excuse because I have a lot of freedom on this freelance project from the client and I don't have any really tight deadlines until the fall on this project. Um, so I wanted to learn Rust. I've built with Go, I've worked in Go professionally before a couple times, so I have a good grip on, on Go. Um, yeah, I don't love Go. I mean, I like Go. I think Go is probably one of the best choices you can make for backend work. Um, but I, it's like, it's not a language that excites me. I mean, I will be making money off of this project. There's a revenue share agreement. I don't, I'm not getting paid hourly or a flat fee for this project. There's a revenue share. So once this site's up and live, I will take a certain percentage of the revenue, um, which is a cool model. And I'm only doing that because I know and trust the client very, very well. Um, and I have a ton of freedom to build it on stream and check out new technologies. And I don't have tight deadlines, so. Hi, new song for you. Can you believe this current song playing is an Indian song and not American? That's that's awesome, Arshad. Fokker asks, how many hours a day do you work, including freelance and Vercel? Well, I generally work an eight hour day for Vercel, Functions and then I do like two and a half to three hours streaming first thing in the morning. I'm thinking I guess it does make sense to have a... So here we're saying that the queue, the jobs, and the lock jobs have to live in the same region of memory or have the same lifetime. I think that makes sense. Okay, I'm okay with that. Debug, clone, partial equal, great. Yeah, that looks good. So we have our queue, which is the file we're looking it's at, the and then we have our the DB. Cattle. I speak the gospel of the dunes! Like? The sand is in my veins. Oh yeah, we figured out this Come thing last time. Come ride a camel with me today. 
Thank you for the uh, the Prime subscription, Fokker. I super appreciate that. And thank you for the follow, everyone. I know I missed some follows. Number of... Um, where is... Yeah, I appreciate all y'all. I hate... Mm. So how do we want to set this up? Our Q... This is gonna have to take a database, I think, or we have a database on the queue, which is nice. So we probably wanna come over here and write a query. I kinda of wanna go look at how Swalker did this in his examples. Cause I could, suppose we could come in here and let's pull up our old SQL that we had working before. Four. Is that in here? Yeah. So we want to do something like this. Do we have a job yet? Job type. I wonder if we should restructure this. such that the job is wrapped in the type rather than putting it on an enum field. What am I making? Uh, today we are making a little job queue processing server in Rust for a freelance project that I was hired to do. Well, we can think about that in a second. Functions describe the world. Oh yeah, we should probably have a completed at, huh? No, because the completed at will be, the way this works is What's gonna happen in our main function is we're gonna start up the job queue. The job queue is gonna hit the database and query basically all the jobs that are there that aren't locked. And then it's going to spin off Tokyo tasks to process each individual job in the queue. And it's going to lock all of them. We should probably do that in the we should probably do a transaction when we select them. So we'll select all the jobs, we'll lock them. And then for each one, we're gonna spin off a Tokyo green thread. And in those Tokyo green threads, we're gonna process each one concurrently. Um, and when they're done, either the green thread or the queue, I, I don't know where I want this responsibility to be, but when the job's done, we're just gonna delete the row from the database. Can I ask you to spend 30 seconds and help an old man out to get Gleam to work? Yeah, Kraut, what's going on? Another raid, goodness, y'all. Thank you for the raid, robotic head. How was your stream? What were y'all working on? Togglebit is skillishing to get Gleam to run. Oh, is Togglebit streaming right now? Let me uh, go look. All right, we gotta sit there and add quick. I normally install um, the three things I install for Gleam. The world. Hold on, let me mute this. And let's jump over to my Gleam project. Uh, do we have it pulled? I don't think so. All right, let me pull up my GitHub. 
All right, let me turn this up to. All right, let me pause the music quick. All right, uh, flake.nix. All right, what's going on here? All right, catch me up, Kraut. Trying to install green. I normally install with Nix, but here are the three devs. Oh. Oh, he's looking at my project. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Ignore bun, Gleam, Erlang, 26, and Rebar 3. Rebar 3 in your path. Gleam, and then Gleam, init. That should be how it works, if I remember correctly. I don't want this part of the thing. Dude, I'm stoked that he's looking at Gleam. Uh, where's the get started docs? Installing Gleam. All right, let's see. Um, he gets a dependency resolution error. There we go. That looked I'll swing by after my stream and see how things went. All right, we'll raid toggle, but if he's still streaming later. Toggle's such a good dude. I love watching toggle bit. Heard. Well, enjoy. Cool. Toggle's such a good dude. All right, let's get back into it. Let's shout out Toggle Bit while we're at it. If I can get one in at Toggle Bit. Is it just Toggle Bit? Yeah, there we go. Make sure you guys are following Toggle Bit. He's a great dev, he's entertaining. He's very smart. Okay. So the other option, uh, what I was kind of talking about here of how we could like structure a job is right now this models a job in our database identically, right? Like this is what our row looks like. The other thing we could do is like pub enum, we'll just call it job two for now. And we'll come in here and we'll have a process um, metrics upload right and then this would have like let's actually come up here and copy this and we'll say this is going to be uh, let's just call this job details right and then we could say that we could do it like this and i kind of like this more i just don't know how to uh we're gonna have to figure out how to go from a database row to this structure, which is fine because now we can pattern match on the outer type, which is really nice. 
Oh, that needs a lifetime? Sure. Can this take a lifetime? Yeah, I guess it can. So we can do something like that. Um, I think I'm gonna just switch this to using a string so I don't have to worry about the lifetime and just stack allocate it or heap allocate it because I don't care. You could do something like this. Uh, I'm really liking Rest. Um, I have a lot to learn. Like I, I haven't really done much, but I like the syntax. I like the ideas. Um, we'll see. I just need to like write a lot of Rust. I think this is how I want to do it. So let's see if we can figure this out. I've never actually written a game. So I think we want this, and we're gonna have to figure out how to map into this struct. I think we're gonna wanna, um, let's delete all this now. We'll move this down here. All right, let's see what our error is. LSP restart. What game can you see yourself building? I don't know. I don't really have an interest in game programming, at least right now. It's just not something that like would excite me to work on. Enum defined here with zero lifetime parameters. Is that okay? I don't think this needs lifetime parameters, does it? All right, I'm going to have ChatGPT try to help us here. Do, 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 do. Is this Ren? Are we listening to Ren right now? I can't even see my OBS to check. You're using it somewhere with lifetime params? Okay, yeah, we, we can fix that. Morning Ascendancy. So uh, let's say we want to come in here, finish implementing, implementing this Rust struct such that I can query it with SQL X. Uh, the database, let's say the database uh, table looks like the following. Uh, let's just jump up a couple layers and we can grab, actually, let's just grab it. We'll grab the DDL because that's probably going to be the easiest way to not confuse it. Two, zero, zero, five. There we go. Paste that in. Okay. 
See if we can figure it out. More in purplish. Try cargo C and terminal and it'll tell you what's wrong. Yeah, we'll try that in a second. All right, let's uh, do what NFE suggested. So we can come down here and we should be able to run cargo C. Yeah. Okay, we are, that's gonna be in the queue. Uh, so in here, we're passing a lifetime to A. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we don't even need these lifetimes anymore. Why can't I get to the next one? That's weird. And then down here, this doesn't need it either. All right. Oh, we don't need it here. Nice. Cool. All right. Let's get cargo watch going again. Ignoring invalid dependency cargo watch, which was missing a lib target. I don't even know what that means. Cargo build. All right. Cargo check. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so we can implement from row ourselves. That's useful to know. Okay. All right, I'm gonna type this out ourselves, um, mostly because I want to, I wonder if it, so let's go back into our job and we're going to go to our job and we're in here, we're going to. Functions two, zero, describe five, two, two, the zero, world. Zero, five. We're going to impl from row. Uh, for job, we'll open that. So this is saying now, not all traits implement missing members. There we go. So that's going to take a generic R for the yep has to be in the same downing paddington. So a job is gonna need a lifetime. No, I guess not. That just goes into this generic. And a boy named Screech. We'll do that. Cool, okay. And then we have our function from row. Our row has a lifetime. All right, this isn't so bad. By the way, did you configure Rust Clippy? I don't actually know. How do I know if Clippy's running? I would like to have Clippy running, that's for sure. I'm gonna run ads real quick, chat. Um, but I'm gonna go get my next cup of coffee started, so I'll be right back.
<laughs> okay. I'm not, I'm just using, um, I just have the LSP installed. All right, so from row gets some row uh, that is a reference to a Postgres row. And we are gonna return a result. So we're just gonna basically say we need to get the ID, which is a string. And we're gonna say that's equal to our row. And we're going to try get. Oh, we don't have a try get. That's not a thing. Okay. What does try into? Row dot try into, does that take a string? No, it doesn't. So that's clearly not how that works. So ChatGPT is like already letting us down this morning. Let's go look at the SQL X crate and uh, read the docs. So we have a trait we're implementing and it's gonna be from row. It's gonna take an R where R is a row. Try get. A row should have that, so let's, I don't know why that, that shouldn't be a PG row, that should just be a row, huh? And we might have to say impl, is that how we do that? Impl trait is not allowed in traits. Impl trait is only allowed in arguments. Okay, so then this will be a din. Is that how that works? Functions describe the world. The value of the associated type database in row must be satisfied. The trait row cannot be made into an object. The following types implement the trait. The following types implement the trait. Consider defining an enum crab rave. Dinro. Do I just have to Is that how that works? Nope. All right, how do I implement from row? Because this is wrong. Because I don't think PG, if we look, if we go back to where we were here. I don't, This it's happy that this is here. PG row has to implement that trait, right? Impl row for PG row and row should have all these functions on it. All right, we're gonna go try to set that up real quick and see if that makes a difference. Uh, do I not have Rust Analyzer in here? Oh, cause I, why, that didn't take me to my LSP. Okay, so I have, I have Clippy going. So we'll just say features equals, okay, I'm not even gonna, I'll, I'll do this, but Clippy should be running. All right, so this actually should have this row should have the functions on it that I would expect, but it's only showing that it has into 
why can't I see the other functions that a row should implement? Implementation of row for PostgreSQL. So shouldn't something that implements this have all of those things on it? Like I'm a little bit confused why, is this like an LSP problem? That it thinks it's unknown. Crab Brave is never long enough. What up, love boy Bailey? <laughs> Looks like it's just recompiling my whole project right now. Okay, so if we do row try into type ID, here we go, maybe. No, I still don't have my methods. Why can't I see row.try get, I should be able to do this. Functions describe the world. Items from trades can only be used if the trait is in scope. Oh. So what do I just, I just bring in row. Okay. So we'll say let ID, um, I don't even think I need to annotate this, do I? I can do equals consider giving. Okay, we can do that. So string. Okay, and then we'll unwrap that. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. It's so weird that types can influence the runtime code. If I was going to learn a programming language, what would be the best place to start? I'd say learn TypeScript and just start trying to build something that excites you, even if you have no idea how to do it and just struggle through it. All right, so we got that. And let's finish implementing this thing. And then we'll just yoink that. We'll say this is going to be a uh, job type. And that's what we're gonna match on later. And uh, yeah, we can keep treat that as a We can probably keep that as a string. I don't think this makes sense, does it? Like, where does job type come from? Oh. We'll see if I can keep it as a string. We'll see if we fail. And then uh, I'm just gonna copy these now. Copy, paste that in there. And where's our error here? Yeah. And we'll come down here and 
we will say let job details equals job details and then we'll make a struct. I wonder if I can add those automatically, fill struct fields. Nice. Speaks the and gospel then, um, of the camel. I speak the here. gospel of the dunes. What up, Patel? The sand is Thank in my veins. Thank you for the seven months. Super appreciate you. Come ride a camel with me today. Hmm. Maybe we do do this. Do do. And we can copy what we had before, which I lost. Um, hmm. I wonder if I have that on my GitHub persisted. Yeah, we basically want to copy this thing again. Copy that. We'll go in here and we'll do that. And we can say this is going to be a job type then. And then we can come down here and we can match on um, job type and probably fill out the legs. Yeah, two. And then in here, we will return an okay of a process speed job, and we'll do job details. And then we'll do the same thing down here change to that and we'll say okay and this is going to be a job that is a verification email that takes the job details struct right there we go easy peasy I have no idea what kind of program I was thinking I could learn web dev yeah I think you just got to think about the kinds of things that would be interesting for you to build, even if that's not super clear right now. And then just start going down the, the rabbit holes of the things that do excite you. Honestly, yeah, learning Gleam would be great. I, I think Gleam's a really fun language. You can do a lot with Gleam. The world. And it's pretty simple as far as languages go. All right, so we get this. I don't think we need generic, or we don't need a lifetime on this anymore. Uh, I think we can do implement deref here. Import. Why didn't that work? Didn't I just bring in deref? Wait, can't I derive deref? Isn't that a thing you can derive? Deref rust. Oh, I guess it's not part of the standard library. Is that not a thing that can happen? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There was an example project we were following that um, history, yeah, here, I wanna go look at this repo is this open source
crates. I don't think this is gonna have what I'm looking for in it. Let me search for DREF. Impl DREF. Whatever, we can just match. I don't feel like doing that. And then we'll just um, say, um, we'll match self and uh, we might be able to get a code action here. Let's check. Fill and match arms, yeah, and this will be job details. We can do the same thing down here. And we can just say job details dot um, locked at is equal to, um, I how did I do that before? I forget the syntax already. All right, where's that other video? This is driving me crazy. It is UTC, some UTC now, some UTC now, some UTC now. So we come in here and we go to the comma and we'll say this is gonna be a sum and this is going to be UTC and then we hit now. And we'll do that. Yoink to there, do to here, paste that in and that should be how we lock. Okay, let's see if we can query this now. I actually don't want this to be public. That shouldn't be public. Uh, where can we test this? We need to get into probably our main, I would think. And we have our job queue, we have our database. So we have to figure out how to implement a database again. This is gonna take connection options. In fact, this can just be a string again and we don't have to worry about lifetimes, it's fine. We can always come back and refactor later. Let's just make this a heap allocated string. Actually, no, we had it fine. I think that's fine. So we're gonna come in here and say, uh, let's get our database options. So let's say let database uh, options is going to equal um, db, and we'll get a database, or there should be connection options, I guess. Yeah, there we go. So we'll flatten that, export that, and now we should be able to get it over here, right? This should be connection options, yeah. And uh, fill and struct fields URL is going to be um, what was the code we used before? Dot env. In fact, we can just copy that, paste that there. What is this? This is a, 
It should be able to deref, right? Expected string. Okay, sure. Field is private, expected stir. Oh, okay. So I can say, can I annotate this and say, uh, and stir, will that work? I forget how to do this. I'm like losing my mind right now. I just have to deref. What is this? Oh, it's private. So I guess I have to go make this Hub. Oh, okay. Well, that's not so bad. Okay. That's fine. All right. So we have a database, database connection options, and then we can say, all right, I'm skipping this song. I'm so sorry. I can't focus with it. Oh, I have a new function on that. Did we do that already? Oh, I do. I didn't know that. Never mind that. I did not realize that I had a new. There we go, thank you. And then we'll say let db is equal to db database. This has a new, Okay, so that takes ownership over that. And then we have a connect lazy. Uh, is that a result? It is. So let's just unwrap that right now. That should give us our database. Great. And then we have this query one down here. Can I do anything after this? Is this a terminal IDE? Yes, it's NeoVim. So let's say um, let query uh, job is going to equal, I forget how we did this before. So let's go back to main and old. We should basically be able to take this and come in here, do this.
you probably have to go update the exports in job queue mod. Okay, so we're still module exists, but it's inaccessible. Why is it inaccessible? Functions describe the world. What does this mean? Module create, but it is inaccessible. Why would that be inaccessible? Functions describe the world. Thank you for the follows, y'all. Appreciate you guys. Okay, now it's good? No, it's not. So I can't just come in here and be like, here's my job, and we'll just Functions say uh, job queue, world. colon, colon. It sees this. And like, I should be able to do like, uh, and it sees that over here. Like clearly the, weird. Whatever. So maybe we come back in here and this will be, job Quayu. Good morning, Mr. Wizard. Then this should end up, this should be job queue, colon, colon, job. Pub job. Pubstruct. Here's our mod. Do I just make that pub? I should get it here though. Like I should be able to re-export from this and it shouldn't be a problem, right? Like this, this is me saying how did I do this in my other mod database, which that's the file in there. Is that all I need to do? I didn't think I needed to make that pub though. Cause I flatten the export from here, right? Like if we go here, that I don't think that should need to be public. Create DB. Like I effectively want to do the same thing 
that I'm doing in this crate over here as I am. We're going to job queue, but is inaccessible. Is in, why is this inaccessible? Morning, Rohan. I'm actually going to go brew my second cup of coffee and let the dogs out chat. Um, I'm going to run ads quick. So uh, pre-roll turns off. We will be right back in like two minutes. Functions describe the world. Functions describe the world.
All right. So I think this has something to do with the visibility of the enum. I was reading while I was uh, outside, and I think it has something to do with this. Maybe. Like, what happens if I just make this pub, right? And this should be a pub function, right? Yeah, we're going to try that next to pub create Create job queue job exists, but it's inaccessible. I don't, I don't understand it. That feels like it worked. And then we want to also export from job. Let's go back into job, right? And this does not need to be public. That does need to be public. We want to also export job details. I've been doing the doing rustlings and it's been pretty fun. Yeah, I really like rust. Oh, we feeling rusty today. All right, so that feels like it's working. So if we go back to our main, probably need to mark this with Tokyo. Kraut, I don't know if you're still listening to Toggle, but how's he doing with uh, how's he doing with Gleam? He's struggling with types. That's bizarre. Considering he writes so much Rust, is it just because like everything is basically a uh, enum. Oh yeah, you can't do that in the same module, I don't think. I'm using Mono Lisa. So now we should be able to, I should be able to get like a, um, let uh say job details just say details is going to equal can i get to job queue job details and then fill instruct what did i fuck up here that it's private yeah okay that's fine Okay, so I feel like we should be able to do something like this now and should be happy or close to happy. Fail to resolve use of undeclared crate or module job. Use of undeclared crate or module job Expected struct variant or union type found enum found enum job queue not a struct variant or union type. I don't know what this means. Oh, I can't, I have from row.
Okay, so that is that just not gonna work? I can't like. Good morning, doggos. Good morning, Justine. Good morning. Um, did you take Mozzie out this morning when you went? No, she didn't budge. Mozzie, did you sleep in? Look at her. I tried to coax her, and she just said. It's bedtime. Still. Lift it up. Head down. The two goldens oh, nice. have been out with me, actually twice. Um, and then, oh, um, uh, the when when you clean the knife, I had to clean rust off of it this morning. You gotta dry it. I meant to dry it. That's why I got the paper towels. And That's then okay. I got, I got. I forgot. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. I got all the rust so off. Sorry. It's fine. Um, oh my gosh. Just know the intention was there. I know. I got distracted. Is it time, Bodhi? It's time for our Mozzie walk first. Oh. Mozzie goes for a walk, then it's time, Bodhi. Look at her. She's so cute. She's so sweet. Little sleep paralysis demon. Good morning, Winnie. Good morning. Goodness, you're excited. She's very excited this morning. Oh, my goodness. We just saw each other. Okay, um, I'm going to jump back in here. Sorry. Causes rust on Dylan's favorite knife. Got to return the ring now. Yeah, Amazon does have it. <laughs> Wait, did you tell chat that we're going real ring shopping? Oh, yeah. The ring I space? proposed with chat was a $7 ring off Amazon, and we're going to uh, New York to go ring shopping together. Um, this week. The number of people that have been like, he got a rock, oh my gosh, it's such a big ring, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, <laughs> $7. Is there just no way I can do this? There's probably a way. No, I don't think there is. Can SQL X uh, marshal data into a enum in Rust? I don't need an R ring because I have a whoop. Imagine instead that the user role contains a user. Oh snap! Mr. Togglebit, how did the rest of Gleam go? I'm not sure if I can shout you out again because I did earlier, but we'll try again. What up, Raiders? I have to wait another 52 seconds. We just had our 10-year anniversary and I had to buy her another ring. It doesn't stop. Rip. Function Gleam didn't go. Too busy making chat world. angry. Wall. Uh, while I have the Rust Raiders here, does anyone that writes Rust know if I can uh, use SQLX to query directly into a enum? So I have this enum here that's like a job, right? And we have these two jobs. One is process metrics upload. The other one's send verification email. They have job details, right? And I implemented the from row trait on it, which feels fine but then this gets so angry and it's like yo dog you failed to resolve use of undeclared create or module job which i don't understand what that means expected struct variant or union type found enum which is confusing to me as someone new to rust because is an enum not a variant and union type You think it wants, so it, it picks the variant based on the job type, right? Like that's why we implemented from row on job because we, we look at this job type and we match on that, which is actually an identical 
named um, enum, at least the variants or constructors, I guess is what they'd be called. And it's just like, nah, dog. Probably need to wrap it in a struct. So I, what would I do? It would be like, um, I have this thing from the prelude. Can I do prelude w? That worked. Is this like the new type thing? How did I do this? Pup t. Can I do type two is equal to world. prelude w? Or how do we do this? Pubstruct. I'm TypeScript brained right now. Pubstruct foo is equal to prelude w job q job. Can I do that? No. I don't know why I can't see the crate. Um, I want to go, maybe I should just look at the Rust book. Crab Rave. Crust modules enums. Pub enum. Use mod color. So do I just like, so someone suggests wrapping it in a type. So we just do like pub type Pubstruct, let's just say foo, and that would have a job in it. Is that how we do that? But I don't want to like, I guess I would do deref on it and I could get to the job. And this would be foo. And then in here, I could just be like foo. Do these have to be pub? This is stupid. Do we just go back to how we had it before? Like, I guess that's fine. It's kind of annoying. I mean, we could do it ourselves. Functions describe the world. Well, I want 
I want, so my database table looks like this and there's also like a type on here. So if you look at my from row that I implemented for this, hold on, let me close this side. So my database table looks like this right here. It has an ID, a job type, which is an enum, a locked at, a created, created at, and a updated at. And then um, depending on the job type, we rewrap it like in an enum and return it out. But the SQL X query as macro is a little upset Maybe SQL exit into a struct for the row and then implement it into your actual enum. Okay, this song's too distracting. I'm sorry, whoever requested it. I'll give it a little bit longer, but. I'm sorry, I can't chat. And like, I don't understand why I'm not using job anywhere. Our crates, crates should be underscored, right? All right, let's get rid of foo again. Foo's gone. Let's just go ahead and just delete this for now. What is a union in Rust? Functions describe the world. The union is just a C union, but they are unsafe. Oh, okay, I got you. Uh, the time zone I'm in is. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. You okay? I just started answering the question. I read it and then I was getting ready to answer uh -oh. it. I was like, what's going on? Can chat see Mozzie? Uh, that? yeah. All right. Chat, guest dog of the week. Same thing, though. Make sure the Goldens don't eat it. Yeah, this is uh, NeoVim. I'd recommend NeoVim, honestly.
functions describe the world. All right. Expected. This should be um, internal job type. There we go. Okay, so now we have this pub struct here. This seems like we're getting somewhere, maybe. And how does this end up working? I think there's like a way to like, I can deref this, right? Like I can unbox this somehow. Associated item, process metric upload. What does that even mean? Uh, it's like mini indent line or something. Consider borrowing here. I didn't know that matches borrowed. There we go. This feels weird. I mean, maybe it's okay, but this does feel like having this there does feel weird. If we go back to main, I wonder if we can get this working now. We get this, and this is going to be job to job. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I thought the hard part of this was supposed to be the borrow checker and lifetimes and not uh, freaking the module system. <laughs> I just want to freaking. What's crazy is I don't even think I can make like a job. Let's say I come in here and like I, I feel like there's just something wrong with like the visibility of this crate or something. We come in here and we say we want a like I don't want that to be public. Like that shouldn't be public at all. Like I just want to do this and then this should have um job type is that the whole problem what does this have on it now job type job so we should be able to do that and then we should be able to do uh this would be job queue yeah something like this and then this would have 
job queue details. Yep. Just do that. Are we missing? Yeah, we're missing one more closer. Is that closed? Yeah, that's closed. Why well, won't that break to another line? Am I missing? What am I missing here, chat? Nope. From the doc, SQL query as this macro does not use from row. In fact, no trait implementations. Oh, it doesn't use from row? Wait, I thought, am I just an idiot? I might be an idiot. Maps rows to Rust types using from row. That's the function, not the macro. Oh, so hold on. So you're telling me that if I come in here, I should be able to take this and let's GC that, get rid of the macro bit. function takes one argument but two arguments were supplied what do you take you take a sql string okay and then i what do i just do job queue job query to a job dot dot fetch one I don't want to pass in the executor do I how does this work takes the pool. Can we get our pool? It's public, so I should be able to pass in db pass a reference to the pool. And then we can do what is it dot await. Okay. So I wonder then, can I do this? Can we go back and can we, and rather than wrapping that in that struct, I wonder if we can just do what we were doing before.
Uh, what is this trying to tell me? Okay. I see. And then in here, is that still good? Okay, that seems reasonable, right? So can we actually then get our job? Oh yeah. Uh, what is the debug syntax? It's like, uh, is it this? There we go. Cargo uh, build. Okay, cargo run. Database column not found type. The lie detector test determined that that was a lie. Oh, right, 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 right. This is... Okay, so this needs to be public. Just straight up. And then we need to go into uh, job queue. We're going to fix this because I don't want that to actually be public, but we're going to need it for a quick second. Cargo build and cargo run. It's literally right there. Uh, let's just say this is a U size. Let's say it's an I size actually. And this is gonna be select. Count. Star. I just do this. Trait bound for a lifetime of R is not satisfied. The following other types implement trait. Do I just have to give this a lifetime? For every lifetime of I32 from row with the same lifetime, is not satisfied. The following other types implement from row. The trait bound for What does it even think it is? It just doesn't know. What is exclamation point? Like, good luck. So we got
execute a single query as a prepared statement, maps rows to Rust types. So I guess, I'm guessing that um, the problem is that I32s or whatever don't implement that. So can I just do query? Yeah. Yeah, let's try that. Let's just get rid of you. And this should be, Functions what are you now? You're a PG row. The world. And let's see what that prints out. All right, count one. That's what we expected. All right, so we definitely see it. So let's go back. Are you missing an exclamation point? Where would I miss that? Yeah, if I wanted to use the macro, right? That will like do the thing at compile time and like check everything. Do the same thing, right? Yeah. Now the real question is, why isn't this working? We see one job, select ID, type as job type, which is a job, job type. I wonder if we can, um, Right. Column not found type. Okay, that makes sense. All right, there we see it. There we go, look at that. We got our right type there, check that out. Send verification email, our job details, it's not locked. Okay, we're getting, we're getting closer chat. Now, if we add our exclamation point back in and we do, we take you, right? And we throw you there, get rid of that, add a comma. This should work the same way. Unsupported type job type of column number two Functions type spec destruct. The world. I guess it, yeah, I guess it just doesn't. Which this is okay. Because we can, we can use query as and do it this way. And I'm totally cool with this. Cheers, Kraut. All right, so Angry Vatic said, you should search problems in your from row implementation and also remove Rust types from SQL query. You don't need them. So I should be able to get rid of this, is what you're saying. All right, we can at least get our right struct right now. That's what I wanted to verify that we could do. So now that we can do that and that's working, uh, let's start thinking about how we want to organize this. Um, we have our lock. We can delete this now.
the real question is, do we want to, we'll have the job queue, yeah. Why is this commented out? That's kind of weird. Oh, do I just not export it? Mod queue. And then we're going to do a pub use create. I just do queue. Queue. Unresolved import queue. No Quayu in job queue. Quayu? Uh, yeah, it is. It's right there. So now it's happy. So I should be able to get rid of this, right? Like I should be able to do this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. Functions describe the world. And we can close world. this. Do, 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 do. All right. So then I think we can, we should be able to do like a const, right? And this would be uh, get available jobs. Uh, is this how this Functions works? Is this how const work? The world. Constant should have, sure. const static All right, whatever, hold on. I don't know what I'm doing. We want to move this basically to here, right? So we'll say, I really want to say this is and we actually want to say where um, locked at is is null and we'll take this yoink you and we'll say this is the const or let query like this is what i don't want to new up every time right like i would like to make this a const missing type for const or static we need a type annotation so it's a sql x yeah okay it's getting closer and then the query as is the lifetime so it's going to be the lifetime here and then what do we have we have the database so we can just say postgres and then the last one is what Uh, the output, which is a job. Use of undeclared. That is the mm -hmm. oh, let me 
printed types can be const in your case you need to const query and string Okay, I don't know how this works right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. That needs to be a reference. And then we need to go in here and we need to say await. And this is going to actually, it's going to be async pub async function. And this is going to return a result. And we want to use create prelude and bring in the result type. And we need to map the error here. And in our map error, we're gonna have our error and we need to just wrap that in um, Where do you come from? Don't I have a DB error somewhere? Yeah. And I can say error colon colon database. And this will be error. What am I missing? And then we can come over here and we can unwrap that with a vec unknown. And this will be a vec of job. I think I'm using anywho. I think I have it installed. Found unit type, oh. And then we'll say jobs. Should I, okay, which I know we can uh, just return this up above, but I wanna get the types. Okay, so we can just get rid of this and go there, delete this, find that, get rid of that, and that should work, right? Try wrapping the expression. Oh, we don't need to unwrap, right? There we go. Yeah, okay, that's exactly what we want. I hate that formatting with a passion. God, I truly hate that formatting. I think if we went and looked at my errors up here, Priv, I have, is this from anywho? All right, that's from this error. I don't remember how some of this works. Mm 
<lacht> ja. All right, so now we should be able to get all available jobs. So let's go back to our main. And in here, we should actually be able to delete that. How do we spin up a queue? Our queue. We have a new function that takes a database, okay. So let's just delete fine here, inline that there. Um, sure. And uh, then we can do let Quayu is equal to job Quayu colon Quayu colon new. This takes a DB. And that should take. It should own it. And then we can say let jobs equals quayu dot um, get available jobs dot await. And we can just unwrap that. And then GC that find B add that. Right, that should be good. That's how we can query jobs. So now we should be able to run this. Database column not found type. We fixed this problem earlier and now we're back at it again and I can't remember how I fixed it. Okay, we got it, that actually worked. That's fucking awesome. All right, so we can query now. So I wanna figure out these macros again. Cause I remember thinking that I wanted a variant of query which takes a path to an explicitly defined struct as the output type. Well, let's look at query, I guess. Statically check SQL query. Can I just make this? Oh, then I have to... I wish query as would just operate on a freaking... This is a pain in the ass right here. This sucks. I wish this is how this worked. Macro maps are using a struct literal. Okay. Whatever. Structs, trades, functions, query as. In fact, I think I got a, um, you go look at the DB module. We might've done something clever here where, yeah, I can just pass a query to the database. And it does this for me. So I think I could actually go 
rather than doing this part right here, I think we can actually go delete that and we can um, do self.db. Here, hold on. I want to jump over here. Oops, let's jump back over here to do. And then we'll come in here and we'll say, let's copy this function. We're going to do query. Um, this will be just query. And this will be fetch all. And this is going to be O, this will be vec. Yeah. So now we have all this encapsulated in here, right? And oops, come in here and we can delete this, re comment this out, and self.db. Let's just go ahead and do db.query, and we can delete that, and take that. Put that down here. Whoops. Dot await. Yeah, nice. So now we can just pass queries in. And it'd be even better. Man, I really just want to freaking. All right, whatever, that's okay for now. I'm not in love with this API right now, but I think it should at least... Hold on, I just got pinged at work chat. One second. Okay, nothing important. Okay. And let's see if we can uh, go back to our main in here. So we should have our available jobs. That should be a vec of jobs. So this should run, hopefully. Yeah, look at that. We got our job. Let's go ahead and add another job quick in our database and make sure that it can get multiple. Let's come in here and add you. Um, we'll say this is going to be, um, what is the, that's not the valid type. Object types, job type, process metrics upload. We'll do that one. So we'll go ahead and paste that in locked at, created at, ID, one, two, three, four. We'll insert it. Okay, so now we should get two. Process metrics upload for enum type, job type. Okay, so we fucked up a decoder. Chat, how do you spell process? God damn it. I'm such an idiot. I misspelled process. Okay, that's fine. We'll fix that tomorrow. Oh yeah, uh, her name was, um, I can picture her clear as day. Um, she was a college student, so she's probably on break, if I had to guess. Um, f 
following. No, I want to look at, how do I just look at the people I follow? Yeah, she hasn't been online in a long time, has she? Cherie. Yeah, I don't even know when the last time she was live. What up, Trace? All right, so I just typoed job type like an idiot. But that's okay. There we go. All right, so we can get all of those. Are we already filtering uh, on our queue? We're locked as null. So if I go and change one of these in the database, let's make sure we can do that. And just say like, this is locked at like right now, great. And now we should be able to, we should only get one back, right? Yeah, awesome. Perfect. All right, so we can query jobs. Um, I want to set that to null, please. Null, please. Come on, data grip. Oh my God. Can I just delete this? Enter. Good Lord. And we should get two. Perfect. Okay, so now we want like a function on here that's gonna be like get and lock available jobs. So we're gonna we've got we're gonna have to figure out how to do a transaction. Get and lock available jobs. We're locked as null. Um This will be, let's see if we can figure out how to do a transaction. We have three minutes, zero shot. We're figuring this out in three minutes, but we're going to go for it. Transaction manager, traits, executor. So we have a transaction manager. Functions describe the world. Destruct. How do we use it? Implements these things. Transaction manager. How do I find the transaction manager? I want that linked. Is that higher up in the crate? Transaction. Here we go. Functions describe the So we world. get a TX and we pass the TX into execute. Okay. So we should be able to do something like um, let TX, I guess that needs to be mutable. Let mutable TX is equal to, I like calling this a TXN instead. We should be able to do db dot, let's comment this out for a second. And uh, I don't want to, yeah, sure. DB dot pool or self dot DB dot pool. Dot 
begin. Dot await. And now we have a transaction. Great. So we should Can I write a It's going to be like um How do I get a new tab? Give me a new scratch. New query console. Uh, this will be like select star from query or from job queue. It's such tiny font. I'm sorry, chat. I don't know how to, it's not zooming in. Um, where locked at is null. Actually, that's not what we want. We want to say update job queue. Uh, I forget my freaking update returning Postgres syntax. Set locked at equal to, can I just do now? That's a that's a Postgres function, right? Yeah. Now, where uh, locked at is null, returning. We might not even need a transaction. Can I run that? Uh, what is it? Command Enter. Uh, wish that would have. So we don't even need a transaction because we can basically copy this thing, same thing. And we can come in here, we can get rid of that. And then we're locked as null and we can just set this to, there might be a SQL X thing though for updates functions. Okay, I guess we can just use query. So let's come in here and we're going to say uh, update uh, job queue. Uh, then we'll just say set locked at equal to now where locked at is null returning star and then we can go back let's go ahead and undo this and we're going to set these to null this is probably old data yeah so set null set null commit that and now let's come over here and let's see if we can query that in our main, get, get, yeah. Dot await. This would be so cool if this works. Let's go. And if we run it again, we should get zero results. We did it, chat. We freaking did it. Okay, cool. All right, I'm pretty happy with where we got to today. Um, this feels okay. Doesn't feel great. I don't love this, but like it's fine, I guess. Um, Thank you for the, the sub, camel. James. I appreciate you. The of the dunes. I gotta get to the work. Sand is in my veins.
I got Vercel shit right to do Kabul today. Today. Um, but let's find somebody to raid. We got Prime and Tej. Functions describe the let's world. Let's raid Tj. That's probably where I'll be hanging out. All right, chat, thank you all for hanging out. Thank you for the new follows and the new subs. I appreciate all of you. We'll be back tomorrow morning at the same time. Bye, chat. Happy Monday.